respective prodigies or counterparts. The incoming sets of officers for the next year's CAP batch 2014-2015. This part of the ceremony has also been part of the military tradition, especially in the military and police academy, and is passed on to the citizens and advanced for training as part of their graduation exercises, just as we have it today.
our guest speaker, Ms. Doris Villar, and of course, our CAT Commandant, Mr. Noel Agrofil. Teachers, coordinators, friends, an enchanted afternoon to all of you. I'm very humbled to be here right now, almost as if it's like a dream. I admit, being, being COCC has been a blast. Like a sunrise, never a day will start without raining. It has become something I've grown accustomed to. And if there would be any day that there would be no formation, I and my fellow cadet and cadets would end up longing for its presence. Missing a formation simply cannot be allowed. It's a fun and informative experience. And now I am here to be given a great honor, honor the position of Corporal Commander. To be frank with all of you, I couldn't have been able to anticipate this. I was perplexed, and maybe I still am. Any rank would have been fine, but it would have been first lieutenant, captain, or any other rank. I would still be happy, ecstatic even. Our CAD commandant, Mr. Noel Agrofil, gave us the opportunity to be a part of this experience. He himself made sure that being a COCC would not be a letdown. My first thanks goes to our one and only commandant. I salute you, Mr. Noel Agrofil. It seems as if it was only yesterday when we listed ourselves with eagerness in our eyes. On our very first day reporting as COCCs, honestly, I found it difficult back then to stay still in attention, whether to sit or stand. It's hard training that needs discipline. The officers took the responsibility to hone us into what we are today. Thanks to all of our officers for not leaving us in disarray, for guiding us, and for being our friends besides our leaders. Ma'am Angeline M. Santo Domingo, thank you for being a role model that we look up to. And thank you for believing in me. Most people were confident that I am not capable of doing the part, but you thought otherwise. Thank you so much. For the days that lie ahead to my fellow incoming officers and the outgoing officers, may we all be blessed. I shall do my best as I accept the position I am given. I give my heartfelt gratitude and I promise you I will do my best in the summer training and beyond. I'm Angeline M. Santo Domingo, Sir Noel Ingerfield. Thank you. The journey has only begun. Today, we are a lot more prepared to the real world, 
that is waiting for us. We are now moving on with our lives, not empty-handed. The CAT organization isn't just about authority and giving courtesy. It's about learning how to handle different kinds of people and situations. It's about composure and keeping oneself stable under pressure. This organization is not just about the rock and power you get. That is what I learned. Getting here was not easy. It was tiring, physically, mentally, emotionally, and psychologically. We have undergone training not only make our skins darker, but molded our personalities as well. We were pushed to our limits, to our wit's end. And after all those, it still was not over. From the beginning, I did not expect that I was the one to be entrusted in leading this organization. When the day of the induction came, I was surprised when I was appointed as the core commander. I cried in joy and I cried a lot. The training was well worth it. If ever I had to mention anything much more difficult than getting to this position, it would be staying in this given position. I realized that the rank isn't just for pleasure. Further responsibilities were as heavy as the power that comes with it. There even came a time that I wanted to quit and let go of the position because I couldn't handle the pressure anymore. The people around me were stressing me out too much. My, my grades began to slip. I couldn't balance my studies and my responsibilities to the organization. Good thing that he was there. Sir Grafiel, our CAD commandant, our father in the organization, talks some sense into me. He talked to me as a father, not the street commandant I knew. And with that, he pushed me to be a better person and a better leader. Things started to turn around. I began to see the members of this organization as a family, as I started to befriend my fellow officers. And since I've become attached to the organization, I choose to pass it to someone who will take care of it. To the next core commander, I hope that you will handle the organization well. Don't let the pressure get to you. And moreover, it should be your management skills and motivation that should conquer the pressure. Remember that although independence is commendable, you shouldn't forget that your co-officers and Sir Gaville will be there to guide you. Always be open to improvement and suggestions. And most of all, ask for God's guidance. To the future officers, I know that you will get there. And when you do, take the, the position wholeheartedly. I tell you that this, it is all worth it. It is very rewarding. It is memorable. Lahat ng putex sa damit, lahat ng nasirang black shoes, lahat ng hilo, lahat ng buhok na nagupit, lahat ng balat na nangitim, lahat ng penis na nawala, lahat worth it yun. I salute you for believing in me and trusting me as your leader. Thank you, class partners. It has been a pleasure to have served as your leader. It won't for I won't forget this chapter of my life. Thank you and good day to all of you. It surely struck the hearts of every cadet and game.